Hey, Mac. What's up, G? Do you know what happens when you start early? I do, G. You go wealthy. It's time for Money with Mac and G. Finance for you and your family. I won, I won. Yes, I crushed you. Eat my dust, little sis. <laughs> okay, okay, you won. Wow, what a great winner you are. You do know that you've only beat me a whopping five times out of the hundred times we've played. Yeah, yeah, but I won, and I won big. I agree, but you got in my way, and then you hit me with a hammer. Totally not cool. I think I'm done. Do you want to watch a movie? Sure. I think there's that new movie, Artemis Fowl, on Disney+. Plus. Sounds good, but before we do, I was thinking... Huh? About what? Well, you know, I was thinking about what Dad said last week. The thing about winners and losers. You mean me and you? Ouch. Any chance to beat me down, big brother. Remember? I'm your little sister. Yeah, you're only 30 seconds younger than me. I know, but it was the best 30 seconds of my entire life. Ouch! Talk about zingers! Zinger! Ouch! That hurt. I'm sure you missed me. It was great to have you as my womb mate. Nice one. You and me together sharing mom's belly. Got that right. You have bony elbows, so I'm sure I was happy to get out of there. Stop taking all the covers! Well, who do you think is winning and losing? And don't you dare. Okay, okay. I won't mention it again. What if we think about how things changed ever since Corona hit us? Sounds good. What if we name things we've done more of since Corona? That's bound to give us an idea. Okay, that sounds good. I'll start. I've done a ton more video game playing. Crafts. Home delivery. (laughs) Online shopping. Watching movies at home. And riding our bikes. Hey, could it be that easy? Do you think companies that do these things really benefit from coronavirus? Makes sense to me. Why don't we ask Dad? Let's see if he can help us. Works for me. Dad, did did you know we can pick stock winners? Honey, ouch, that hurt. I think you drew blood. Well, that's the last time I cut your hair. I agree. I'm really glad I can go and see Cindy at Great Clips again next week. It's been too long. I agree. Having to hear you complain has been way too long. What are the kids yelling about? I don't know, but they usually come running in here. Dad, 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 we have a question. We have a question. Hey, what's that red stuff on the towel? Is that your question, G? Did mom clip your ear again? That must have hurt. It did. I only wanted a trim, but it looks like I'm getting a red hair dye, too. Mom, are you going to take that? He's been that way ever since we met. There is no taming him. Ouch, that reminds me of something I read about barbers. With all that blood, don't you mean something you read about barbarians? Grant, are you calling me your mother a barbarian? No, Mom, I was just saying. If you were, it would be so cool. Christy the Barbarian. <laughs> I love you, Mom. Love, 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 love. Thanks, Grant. I love you, too. Okay, Mac, what were you saying about the barbers? Well, you know that red, white, and blue on the barber's pole? Most spin now. Yeah, I saw that when I got my hair cut at the barber in Chicago. Do the colors mean something? Well, some people think they are the colors of the American flag. But that doesn't seem to be the case, since they've been around a lot longer than that. So, what'd you find out, Mac? Well, barbers in medieval times did a lot of stuff like surgeries, Ah! took teeth out, and other stuff. Does that explain the colors? The pole has a bowl at the top and the bottom. Leeches were put in the top one, and you hold the pole for leeching or bloodletting. Leeching? Bloodletting? What the heck is that? Sounds gruesome, but the blood would explain the red. Is that for the bottom bowl? What about the blue and white? Well, blood that doesn't have oxygen (gasps) and is traveling through the lungs to get more is darker. So when looking at a vein, it tricks the eye into thinking it's blue. And the white is for bandages. Seriously, Mac, that is so cool. Sounds like an optical illusion if it's tricking your eyes. So, blood and bandages. 
There's the B&B again. Do you know what all that other stuff is that the barber did? I know what a surgery is because Grant had one on his arm. But it's weirder to think a barber would do it. Dentists pull out teeth now. The leeches and bloodletting is new to me. I think I'm afraid to ask, but I have a feeling it's messed up and we don't do it much anymore. You're right, we don't. The Egyptians started it several thousand years ago. They believed your body made blood and used it up like gas in a car. If you had too much, you had to let some out. Are you serious? If you had too much, you were out of balance and you had to let some out? I gotta say it, that sounds nasty and messy. Ew, gross. Well, in Greece, they even told you how you could DIY. What? Doesn't that mean do it yourself? Oh man, that was weird. I can never cut myself to let blood out, but I think I'm gonna pass out. Well, they used it for headaches, fever, internal bleeding, and other stuff like the plague and epilepsy. They would do it in your arm or your neck. Don't touch me. Jeez, stay away from my neck. I could never let that happen to me. I read about a guy who was stabbed and they used almost 100 leeches, did bloodletting over 20 times and took almost three gallons over two months. He survived, but not everybody did. Oh, anybody we know? Well, George Washington didn't survive. I cannot tell a lie. I chopped down the cherry tree. He had a bad throat infection and asked to have it done. In 10 hours, they took a gallon of blood and he died. Wow, amazing. Sounds like the treatment is worse than the disease. I'm not sure I won't want that help. What about the leeches? Well, leeches are parasitic worms, which means they live off something and cause it harm. Kind of like the two of you living off mom and me, causing us harm like headaches when you fight. And using all our money. Not cool, Dad. That was bad, Dad. But it was kind of true. My wonderful children. Leeches suck out blood from your skin, which prevents clotting or clumping. It's good to stop bleeding, but dangerous if a clot goes to another part of your body. Like your lungs, heart, brain, or other places? That does not sound good. You're exactly right. And leeches are still used to help with some blood issues. They bite you and release a chemical so you don't even feel the pain. Crazy, huh? Okay, enough about blood, my little vampires. I want to suck your blood. So what's the question? Well, we were thinking about the business that we're winners due to corona. And Grant and I came up with a list. Yeah, we think we have some great ones that we want to run by you. Shoot, G. Funny you say that, I've been playing a lot of video games. I know you don't like the shooting ones, but me and my friends are playing a lot more. If more people are buying video games, it has to be good for the company, right? That's a great way to look at it. Video games are huge now when people are locked down. Grant, which gaming stock did you buy? Activision Blizzard. It has a Guitar Hero. World of Warcraft. Overwatch, Tony Hawk, and others. Well, do you know what the stock price was before the drop in March and then now? Wasn't it in the 60s before the drop? It went down to 52 and now it's around 75. That's exactly what happened. It went down 16% when Corona hit as everyone got scared. Then it went up 44% from its low and finished 21% higher than when it started. So if you bought it when it hit the bottom... And knowing more people would play, you would have made money? <laughs> yep, you would have made a lot. I think EA, or Electronic Arts, is the second biggest gaming company. What happened with them? I used to love playing their basketball game when I was in high school with Uncle Bryant. Seriously? They had games back then? Who usually won? Well, Uncle Bryant slaughtered me. He had this wicked hook shot I could never defend. You could also break the backboard with a slam dunk. <laughs> And a little guy would come out and sweep up the mess. Seriously? That used to happen in real life? Sounds really dangerous. It did happen, and it was dangerous. I saw a clip of LeBron James doing it in high school. They fixed the backboards now. Pull it up on YouTube. That is wicked. Love it, Dad. So, EA Sports still has sport games like NBA Live, Madden NFL, Medal of Honor, Battlefield, and more. So, what did its stock do before the drop, during the drop, and after it? I got this one, Dad. It was about $110 per share, then down to about $87. 
and then went back up to around $131. So that's about a 21% drop, a rise of about 49%, and compared to where it started, it's up about 18%. Okay, so it goes to show that video games really took off. Sure does. And for the first time ever, Fortnite is now more popular than football on all the searches by Google. The NFL began in 1920, EA Games started in 1982, and Activision Blizzard in 2008. Whoa! So, the two biggest video game companies started over 60 years after the NFL and are more popular? That is pretty unbelievable. We could talk about video games for a long time, but give me another winner. It's my turn. How about watching movies at home, like Netflix? Well, what do you think happened? You know that we added Disney Plus and watch uh, maybe one movie over the next week or so. Dad, you binge watched the eight episodes of The Mandalorian two days after we got Disney Plus, and we watched four Avengers movies that weekend. Okay, it was awesome. Now, here's some trivia for you. It took airlines over 64 years to build up to 50 million customers. How long did it take Netflix and Disney Plus to reach 50 million subscribers? I would think it's a lot less than that. Didn't you tell me Netflix started with DVDs in the mail 20 or so years ago? Excellent, Mac. It actually took Netflix seven years to hit 50 million and Disney only five months. Holy guacamole, Dad! Disney Plus is like a rocket! I guess they released Disney Plus at the perfect time while we were quarantined. At $7 a month, they get $350 million a month! I agree. It's pretty amazing, huh? So what happened to Netflix stock? Before quarantine, it was $380 per share then down to $290, and now around $450. Dad, that means it dropped 24%, jumped 55%, and overall it's up 18%. Seems like another winner for sure. What about Disney Plus? Okay, so is Disney Plus the name of the company? Oh no, you didn't say that. No, it's just Disney. There's no plus. Exactly. So Disney is made up of all kinds of things. Can you guys name a couple? Theme parks? It's a small world after all. ABC Television? A cruise line? ESPN? Lucasfilm for Star Wars? They own a lot of stuff for sure. Some things are doing well like Disney Plus, but the S in ESPN means sports. And what happened to sports due to Corona? They stopped having basketball, baseball, football, (laughs) and other sports. So that probably hurt. You got it, G. And even when the athletes get to play, they will limit the fans who can come. Did you know in Germany they are selling cardboard cutouts of fans to sit in the stands? Hey, that's my seat. What? Are you saying you can buy a piece of cardboard with your face on it and they'll put it in the stands? Yep. I saw one for $20.60 in Germany for the soccer league called Bundesliga. Wacky, huh? (laughs) It's a whole new world, Dad. Couldn't agree more, G. So what about the theme parks? We talked about how they had to close all over the world, and a couple are about ready to open up. Plus, they can't let in as many people as they did before. Not good for the business. Exactly. So Disney has many parts to it, and not all are doing well. For example, the cruise lines completely stopped. Their stock went from 140 down to 86 and only up to 120. So it hasn't fully recovered? Nope, it hasn't. It dropped about 14% since coronavirus started. Imagine how bad it would be doing without Disney+. Plus. Cool. Well, we definitely saw some winners. Just like me beating you. OMG, Grant, enough. Let's take a look at some companies next time that haven't done as well. Sounds good. Sounds like a winner. I mean, a loser. Okay, let's just do it. Great. Thanks for being here. Hey, and check out The Mandalorian. It was super cool. Bye! Isn't this stuff so crazy interesting? We get an understanding that the market doesn't like uncertainty. Hey, what's going on? When something big happens, most get affected either in a good or bad way. Then, once the information is processed, there are winners and losers. 
When looking back, it's easy to realize that people are going to watch more movies and play more games if in quarantine. However, the idea of the U.S. in quarantine is really foreign to us all. Hindsight is always 2020. Before we get to the next set of winners, can you think of other businesses that should have done well? Some were mentioned in this podcast, but think of some things you saw or thought would have happened when we were confined. Will there be more babies? Will there be more mental health issues? Will more people work from home? Each of these questions could affect different companies positively or negatively. We identified a couple winners in this podcast. Now, let's move to some losers as the world changes. As we move to the next week, think about who should get hurt. We mentioned some last week. And if these trends continue, which possible investments should you stay away from? Thanks for being here. It's so much fun learning about the different aspects of investing as seen through this very real situation that has affected us all. See you next week for another episode of Money with Mac and G. Finance for your kids and your family. Bye. Bye. Bye.